Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Miami Dolphins, and it comes your way. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Miami Dolphins taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And CD, what a run for these Dolphins. Remember, they were bounced in the first round of the playoffs last year, but they are back as the AFC's representatives in Super Bowl 58. And partner, it's been a long time, a long time since their last Super Bowl triumph. That was back in 1974. And no one on this team was even alive when that happened, including their head coach. So plenty to play for here tonight, trying to add another Lombardi trophy to their arsenal. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they're trying to pull off what only three teams have done before, go from Super Bowl losers to Super Bowl champions. Last team to do that, the Patriots, Super Bowl 52 and 53. Before that, you've got to go back to the Dolphins in Super Bowls 5 and 6, and the Cowboys in Super Bowls 4 and 5. And off we go from Las Vegas. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. As we begin the Super Bowl, we are looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. Hurts throwing right away. This short throw caught by Goddard. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll take this down to the 44-yard line. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. This is caught inside the 15. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. 
So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Hurts. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Partner, are they going to cover him? That's four catches in the touchdown grab on that opening drive. Well, what we're seeing so far, I believe, is their understanding that they want to go to him and often, but also they know they've got to move him around a little bit, get him into some different spots to continue to find open space to throw him the football. Otherwise, I just run two or three guys at him. They're doing a nice job of finding his way open, scheming him, as they like to say. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Dolphins set to go on offense for the first time behind their 25-year-old quarterback. Now it is fourth NFL season to a tongue of Iloa. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. That goes for a gain of 31. It's early, but it now took a cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? The tackle by Terrell Edmonds. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now the rookie third-round pick. It's Devon A. Chain. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. 
but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Touchdown! Sam Wilson from 17 yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and we are tied at seven. Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7 7 here as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. That hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. Throwing his hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. Man, he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion there, and CD, as we know, trying to defend against an NFL quarterback, that's one thing. Trying to defend against a mobile NFL quarterback, that's quite another. What's the plan here defensively? Well, the pass rush has to still try and get to him, especially the guys on the edge, but they're going to go maybe a, a, a count slower. Right? They want to make sure they don't get too far upfield where he steps up and takes off through a lane. The same is true for those interior guys as well. So you've got to change it up with him, try and keep him hemmed into the pocket, and occasionally you throw a spy on him, a fast linebacker or one of your extra defensive backs who can dance with him a little bit if he takes off and runs. Hurt sets up to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. And this may be a big early turning point in this Super Bowl. They're going to go for it on fourth down here. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. And he'll get it by plenty. A gain of eight on fourth and one. 
fourth and two. They got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. They go play action with Hurts. He'll drop this one off to Swift. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. From the gun, it's Hurts. Looking for the end zone. And unable to connect incomplete now give them credit they took their shot but it's going to bring up fourth down smart move to throw that one away you're in field goal range so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball and that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down the kick by Elliott is good and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7 so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. A-Chain gets it from the gun. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Now Tua on the bootleg here. And that is incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10.
They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw here's incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that is incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. On fourth down, Aaron Sipos on to punt for Philadelphia. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Fielded at the 20. Punt six yards on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Tua to try again on second down. Flush to his right. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 10-7 our score. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the date on the calendar. We circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's Tua. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to hit the football back again. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Back to throw. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. 
They'll set up a throw. Quick slant here to Smith. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and four. They'll look to throw again. Again, that's Watkins. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Swift fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? From the two now, second and goal. Swift again. And this time he's not going anywhere. In fact, he'll lose yardage back to the three. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now, that was a terrific play. We're down here near the goal line, and only one word comes to mind for me, and that's overwhelmed, because they absolutely overwhelmed the offensive line. He came free and made the hit in the backfield. They'll run with Swift, and they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays, because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. They'll try it now with Swift. So they hit Painter, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This a 27-yard attempt here. The kick by Elliott is good, and the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So now here come the Dolphins. 
And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Tongue of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 18. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. Josh Sweat coming in strong and dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. Couple of Alabama guys here. Two of the Waddle for the Miami first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and nine. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Second down. Here's Mostert again. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Once again, it's Mostert. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and four. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. That swung out to Moster. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35 yard line. A 10 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Wilson with a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. And he will make his way back to where he started from, and that's all, as we will make our way to the two-minute warning. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Looking to pass to him. This is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So fourth down, two of departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. The kick by Sanders is good, and that will cut the lead back down to three at 13-10. to 10. 
So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be left with second and a couple. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. Not able to get a single yard there, and it'll bring up third down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And this is caught. It's Brown. Still going. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. A big play there for Philly. 48 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Throwing his hurts. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up second down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Second down at four. Hurts. Wide open receiver complete. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five, and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. Here's Hurts to throw. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles would extend their lead here just before halftime. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Elliott Good with a PAT, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Yeah. 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Now Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Tua, the final shot before half. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So that P.I. call will give him one more play. And it'll be an untimed play as well. Now the half will end after this one, unless there's another, there's another defensive one. penalty. Sanders' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've arrived at halftime here in Super Bowl 57. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Fields it right around the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Meanwhile, two is throw here. Going to be caught by Wilson. 
Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. That'll give him eight that time, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Now Tua on the bootleg here. He's got his man on the crossing round. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles 39. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Second and short, that's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. Tua sets up to pass it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Tua going to throw. He is going to find Hill here. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 37 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from evening this one up. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Sanders now to add the extra point. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, it's Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On 
on first and ten. It's Hurts. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, and pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they're talking about creating turnovers. That's all they preach, all game long, all practice long, every meeting, get the football. That's what they want. Following the fumble recovery, here's Tua. Finds Hill on the crossing route, complete. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. A chain on first and 10 to the 27 yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Mostert. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 20-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? They'll run for it with A-Chain. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. Buying time to his right. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Tua Tagovailoa taking it in from seven yards away. And the Dolphins have scored again in this third quarter. This time to move out in front. Well, there's something that goes back to the early years of his career. Remember, he had three touchdowns in each of his first couple of seasons. None last year as they've tried to dial back his running, especially down close to the goal line. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Wide receiver A.J. Brown, you see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Man open left side is Brown. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, 
even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Someone moved, flag is out. That's going to be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Hurt's dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 41. They'll drop to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. They'll set up a throw. Able to shake him off. Ooh, what a move. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Bottom line is that he is just something else as a runner because there are not many QBs in this league who can rip off a game that big, and he did it with the defense giving him a little extra attention after he hit him on a run earlier this series. They'll look to throw. Gets around him, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. On second and goal, here's the option. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, he had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the podcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Elliott Good on the extra point, and we are tied at 27 all. to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Dolphins' offense now working their way back onto the field. 
We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Tua and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. His throw incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Third quarter action in Super Bowl 57. Here's a second and 10. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going into the quarterback in an expected passing situation. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl. And now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. Up the middle they go with Moster. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Play action, now it's Tua. That going to be caught downfield by Hill. Touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Dolphins answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And they will take a seven point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And we're at the time in this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Second down, here's Hurts. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just because you got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. 
The offense on third down tonight. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and ten. Looking right side and that's complete to Watkins. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. They hand it off to Moster. And Moster going to pick up a Dolphins first down as he'll get this up past the 40. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 101 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this Super Bowl. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Here's Tua. Short throw hauled in by Croft. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Looking to pass to him. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now a give to Mostert running right. There he goes, right side. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert. 32 yards. 
And the Dolphins are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Sanders on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Mostert. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Hurts. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Play action. Here's Hurts. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Touchdown, Eagles. Quez Watkins, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Now Allen, the coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And here comes Raheem Mostert in the Miami offense. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block. But they're helping out, too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. It was Josh Schwett who got him down on the defensive side. 
And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. 141 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run here with Mostert, and he'll have a Dolphins first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Moster. And he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. Second and 11 now. On the handoff, this is Moster. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. That is likely the final play of this game, and no better feeling, I would imagine, than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began was doing this, practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. And the Lombardi Trophy has a home in South Florida. The Miami Dolphins are your Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.